Hi folks, this is another fear vlog and it's called the fear of getting wet cheeks and becoming sweaty. And I've got inspired by the two fear vlogs by uh, Marlene and Lindsay about plushing. I also want to say I really uh, like this fear vlogs at all and recommend to everyone to uh, just look at some of them. It's pretty interesting. Um, you can learn a lot about your own fears and how other people have solved the problems. But now to my problem I have, because most of it I used to have. When I was young I always had the problem that I got uh, really sweaty and sweaty uh, skin with a lot of blood vessels, especially in the face and I got really fast or sometimes it belonged to the weather or whatever. I got this really, really, really wet cheeks. Uh, they, I still uh, have them. Here you can see it, but it's not so strong. Sometimes it gets stronger, but this is not a problem for me now. But it used to be when uh, when I was young, when I was 16 or 17, uh, I thought, oh, this is so, 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 so un uncool. And I, I, I really, I really hated it. Um, um, sometimes I got some remarks or comments on it, but normally not too bad. More often I think um, I got most time from other people, but sometimes even from girls, I got kind of compliment. compliment. Oh, it looks um, looks sweet with your red cheeks. Oh, you're looking so healthy. But when you are a 17 or 16 year old boy, influenced by your male hormones and the uh, picture of being male, the society picture of being male, uh, you don't want to be look sweet or healthy. I want it to be tough, cool or hard or something like this. And I also had this problem with uh, sweating very easily. And not only sweating like other people, it began here in the armpits, you no, know, all over the face and over the body, and the legs are were sweating and everything, the whole skin. And I thought this was a severe problem for me, and I even went to a skin doctor because of this. Um, yeah, he did a few examinations and then he told me, Oh, congratulations, you have a pretty healthy skin. Uh, over average water and blood vessels in it. That's good. I said, No, no, uh, I got problems. Can't you do anything against this um, um, wet cheeks and that uh, I sweat so e easily um, he said no there's no problem I can't do anything for you but all your problems will be solved just wait 20 30 or 50 years and you will be very satisfied with your skin I thought what an asshole. It's no, no, no good message for a 16, 17 year old boy uh, to wait uh, 20 or 30 years uh, to solve the problems. But um, yeah, at the end, I think he was right. I 
now I'm an older man and I have no uh, problems anymore with um, with red cheeks. It's it's okay. It's I think it's more kind of of healthy looking and I don't have problems if anyone thinks this is sweet. I don't have to be tough anymore. But um, I still have sometimes the problem that I begin easy to sweat. Um, this one, uh, to get so easy sweating and becoming the red cheek so fast when I'm doing sport, I sometimes used as an advantage in sport because other other guys thought, oh, Max must be totally exhausted. He's sweating in his own, this red face and red cheeks here. And yeah, we can easily beat him. But I wasn't exhausted. I was just getting warm. This was an advantage. And yeah, I think the skin doctor wasn't an asshole. And I just have to wait some years and the sweat problem will also disappear totally mm. and yeah in my class I got the luck uh, blushing was not my big problem why I had the same luck uh, Lindsay had there was another guy in, with a very pale skin normally uh, who was much 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 better in blushing than I was. And yeah, that's it. I hope you enjoyed this vlog and it wasn't too long and I wish you a good day.